So here in the UK, some are feeling a certain way when it comes to drone regulations right now. This is fine. Existing holders of the A2 CFC might be feeling their certificate has gone a little, well, Today, we're going to talk about whether or not I share that pessimism and if the A2 CFC is, well, dead. First up, where are we? What is your existing A2 CFC useful for and does the course and certificate you paid for simply vanish now? With the recent changes announced by the DFT and the CAA, it means that we're unlikely to see anything like sea label drones here in the UK anytime soon. This means the shiny C2 aircraft we were all eagerly awaiting to get our hands on will not be coming. Since the certificate and accompanying course was launched, many people in the UK, hobby and industry have chosen to gain their A2 certificate, including myself. This was always based on the promise that we would be able to fly heavier drones in the congested areas with very little separation distance. However, since the release of a C1 label drone in the EU, which is temporarily at least able to fly in the A1 airspace here in the UK, and the fact that we're unlikely to see any C2 label drones anytime soon, bring into question the validity and the value that this course and certificate holds. Really, when you think about it, if a C1 level drone is as awesome as the Mavic 3 Classic, do we even need C2 drones for most hobby and lower end commercial flights? Certainly one RAE or drone training company that I've recently spoken to tell me that the Monday morning following the announcements to extend the transitional period and not recognize the EU sea label drones was greeted with hundreds of complaints from previous students confused and frustrated about what it means for their certificate. So where does this leave you if you currently hold an A2 CFC? Well, firstly, the expiration date on your certificate is still valid up to the end of the new transition period in 2026. So until that time or sooner, if your certificate runs out before the new transitional date, you continue to get the benefits you have right now without any of the new intended ones at the end of this year. In terms of guidance from the CAA for people who already have the certificate, what happens when the original transition date period ends? This is the current advice from the CAA. They state, holders of an A2 certificate of competence that references transition and legacy period dates of the 31st of December 2022 may continue to use their privileges until either the expiry date of the certificate or the end of the new transition legacy period on the 1st of January 2026, whichever is sooner. A reissue of the certificate is not required. There are certain benefits that you still get from having an A2 CFC in the transitional period. You can of course fly drones up to 500 grams in the A1 airspace, so essentially zero separation from uninvolved people but with no intentional overflight. This means that drones like the DJI Avata can, with a spotter, be flown in congested areas with minimal separation. However, the availability of high quality drones which are sub 500 grams and are not actually below 250 grams are still few and far between. The sub 250 gram market is a big focus for drone manufacturers, so this 500 gram allowance is another fringe benefit rather than a main reason to get an A2 CFC, certainly for most people. Also being able to fly sub two kilogram drones in the A2 airspace, so in congested areas, also seems like a great deal until you factor in the fact that you need a 50 meter horizontal separation between your drone and uninvolved people. This includes the DJI Mavic 3 Classic, which of course currently holds that coveted C1 EU label. Really isn't very exciting, is it? Especially when you compare it to the sub 250 gram drones who enjoy zero separation and overflight of people without any training requirement at all. These benefits of flying drones under the A2 CFC in the transitional period was something of a bonus that many people viewed as an extra before they got access to C2 approved drones and all of the benefits being able to fly much heavier aircraft up to four kilograms very close to uninvolved people in congested area brings. Anybody who has taken the A2 CFC within the last couple of years since it first came out is unlikely to see any real benefit to their enhanced allowances within the five year lifetime of their certificate. And with the CAA now entering a period where they will be assessing whether or not we have C labels at all here in the UK or an entirely new system, you have to start asking where the value of this course is now. The course itself does teach safe drone flight. The course does itself teach the, the basics of weather. It also runs through a range of topics which are highly valuable to any drone pilot, especially those operating in the open category. So there is a value in terms of knowledge, and that is something which I of course support, especially 
as many of these courses can be picked up for a very reasonable fee at the moment. So beyond the extra benefits that this knowledge will give you, I'm not sure that beyond that, that we really see too much benefit as we don't even know whether or not the drones the A2COC is designed to give you authorization to fly in certain areas will even exist in the UK, let alone the fact that what we all probably envisage would be a C2 drone is actually now a C1 drone in the form of the Mavic 3. Therefore, it is my opinion, and my opinion alone, but I feel that you're not going to get a true value from passing and holding an A2 CFC, whether or not there are going to be any changes as to the certificates which are available will of course come through the public consultation process and the review being undertaken by the CAA. Remember, as well as looking at the C-label system, the CAA have announced their intention to carry out an investigation of the open category. So there very well could be other changes which could impact this course, as well as how else you can fly your drone in the open category. So for me, the A2 course and certificate is pretty much dead at the moment. The primary reason for passing the exam and gaining certificates are very much up in the air. If gaining access to congested areas with a 50 meter horizontal separation for heavier drones has a lot of value to you, perhaps instead of the heavy admin route of a GVC and operational authorization, then great. But I'm not sure that the course has a lot of value to many people. At this point, I'd like to hear from you, the audience, and people who hold the A2 CFC, or we're considering taking one as to how you feel about the current situation. Myself, I feel like I have had some good use from the A2 CFC flying heavy legacy drones and from the training and knowledge I gained from the excellent course I took over at UAV Hub. How do you feel? Do you feel that you are disappointed that you're not going to be able to use the A2 to its fullest intentions? What would you like to see happen? Should A2 CFC holders temporarily get an increased use of certain drone weights in the A2 airspace? Perhaps based that on weight, could it be argued that a C1 labeled drone which is approved in the EU could be flown by an A2 CFC holder here in the UK, but with perhaps some kind of reduced separation distance? Perhaps not down to zero, maybe 10, 20 meters. Could this be a fair and reasonable benefit to add even temporarily for the rest of this new transition period? This could, of course, also mean that training companies will also be able to sell more and attract more people to the A2 CFC course, and therefore we'd end up with an even more highly knowledgeable hobby and grassroots commercial flyer sector. I'd like to hear what you think, so do let me know in the comments below or to the side or wherever YouTube have decided to put them this week. We will, of course, as you might expect, be keeping you fully up to date on this topic and anything else related to the UK drone rules. So if you're new here, please do hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications to get more updates as and when they happen. Sean out.